Hey, what's up everybody? It's CrossCurrent here, playing a game called Ascension. Now, they have a version of this game in real life, which is where most people hear about it. It's a deck building game. So, the main gist of it is you go around, uh, and there's a path per se, and there's money and power. You use the power to kill stuff, you use the money to get stuff for your deck, and... Uh, at the end of the game, there's victory points, or whatever they call it in this game, based off monsters they've killed, and cards with the little star in the corner. I'll show you when I play a quick game right now. So, to create a new game, of course, you just play offline. Play online. If you play online, you have to make an account. Um, you can choose whichever of the sets. I'll start with something simple with just the first set. But uh, for those people that are new to the game, DS is Dreamscape, which is a standalone thing. So if you're going to play the game, you want to do that by itself. Uh, kind of same with that one, too. I don't remember the terminology of it, but it's similar. Uh, most games will start at 60 or 65. I believe 65. Yeah, I believe 65 is the normal amount. Uh, you can choose your avatar, their avatar, wherever you want. To start. So like I said before, there's power cards which are like heavy infantry, militia, etc. Um, and the money cards which can buy stuff. It's more of acquiring, that's what the term for the game is. And uh, acquiring and defeating. That's the difference between the two. Uh, so, early on, you can just play everything. No problem there. Uh, and then you have to figure out what you kind of want to do with what's in front of you. So, there's two monsters. I could go and take two heavy infantry. I could also start getting some card draw and getting some victory points. Just getting a little bit of everything. But it's a little tough to uh, have that work early on. I'll try it this time just because it's something different. Uh, when you go throughout the game, there'll be different uh, archetypes like Makana, Lifebound, Void, etc. And uh, Constructs, what's unique about them is once you play them, like, okay, so once you buy cards, they go to your discard pile. And uh, once you play cards, they also go to your discard pile. Uh, once you need to draw from the top of your deck, and there's nothing you're just nothing else to draw it shuffles your discard pile and puts everything into your hand and when you play this from your hand it would go onto this bar so unless something says to remove it it'll stay there and constantly take a small effect without further ado I'll buy it uh, cultists they give you one star for the end of the game um, when you purchase one, but you don't get to keep it, it's just like another monster that goes to the void, and there's an infinite number of them. Uh, when you run out of 65 uh, star points, that means that there's either just your turn or the other person's turn as well, depending upon who went first to finish the game. So, that's the gist of it. I'll play it now and just kind of run you by some things while I start to progress through this game. Okay, so a basic strategy right now is since everything is really costly, you want to destroy stuff. So double heavy infantry. Uh, cards that allow you to draw, I personally love. Because there's always going to be a benefit from it. So like it'll just replace it at the very least. So like here, you play it, you get a card. That's benefit and it stays out there. Uh, so banishing. What banishing is, is uh, taking out cards you don't want from the game entirely. It's where the monsters also go when they're defeated. Uh, the reason why you want to do this is because later on, you'll have cards like Mystics and Heavy Infantry that you don't want 
to draw apprentices and militia, these are just not as helpful. The more, the less cards you have in your deck, but enough to draw and play with, the more chance you'll get the really good cards. So, take that, same thing as heavy infantry anyways, with an added bonus. Now the game is very luck based, so even if you do get a lot of heavy infantry, you'll still not draw enough to kill monsters, you can still mess up in other ways too, so keep that in mind when you're playing the game. There we go. You don't always want to get more of these guys because they don't help with other stuff, so... If there's no monsters on the field, or very few, it's very risky to actually go after them. Uh, ooh, flytrap, which is good. The smart thing to remember is to not play everything at once when you have cards with special abilities. See right there, had I not known to get um, the Trickster, which would give me one more wealth, then I would have kept the Apprentices and not banished anything, when well, in this case I can actually thin out my deck better and get something that's always helpful. Spike fixing.
small fact to remember is at near the end of the game, if you're trying to get um, victory points, the best way to do it is to get mechanic constructs because normally they'll either be equal to their amount or maybe even more where that last thing was four for five even though the abilities might not be as effective it would be great because then opponents may just look at the stars and think they're winning but they don't know that I just bought something that cost five so against other players it can be very helpful and actually turn the tides of the game I guess that's the game. Okay, so let's see the most amount of money I can get from this. I could get three, four, five, or I could get two, four, five. So and I win by about thirteen. Thank you for watching, guys. That is a quick run through of the game. Uh, next video is I may go through some of the other sets in the game just to help you get more familiar with it and kind of learn a basic strategy to it. This game currently does not have any sort of uh, competitive uh, outlook to it, but it could change in the future. It does have a lot of online games that go on though, and I'll delve into that deeper for you guys next video. Thank you for watching, and see you guys next time.